Welcome all to Chasing Tents. My name is Abby. Thank you very much for joining me, guys, on this very cold Feb 2023 evening where I'm doing a series of videos on tyre compounds. Right next to me, I've got Pirelli uh, SC1, SC2, SC3, SC0, SCX and a Metzler TD thrown in for good measure. This video is all going to be about uh, Metzler TD, uh, comparing that to Pirelli SC3 compound. A lot of people think they are very, very similar. I think so. I tend to think so, but there are certain very important differences which we will go through today. Now I've done a detailed video, I've actually done two detailed videos on Metzler TD. So what I'm going to do is choose the pointers from those videos and compare those Metzler TD pointers to the SC3 Pirelli compound. Okay, the first pointer is tire warmers. Now I know the marketing brochure on the Metzler TD says you don't really need a tire warmer. I would say on a very, very hot day, fair enough, you can get away with it. But, you know, guys, on slicks, put tire warmers on. Saves you undue high sides. You're quick out of the uh, pit lane. You know, you can do decent laps right away. You're not toodling around in a fast group where someone fast can come from uh, behind and things can go pear-shaped. Just put tire warmers on. They are slick tires. You know, SC3 Pirelli and Metzler TD. So, I think tire warmers are a must on both. Next, uh, tire for all skill levels. I would say yes. Even Pirelli SC3 doesn't really show kind of blistering and stuff, even though you are toodling around. I mean, I after my big crash at Anglesey, so I do endur endurance racing in the UK. I had a big crash. After that, my pace dropped massively and I was not as fast as I normally would be. And I had no issues, no cold tears, no blistering, nothing. So yes, a tire for all skills, SC3 Pirelli and the Metzler TD. Uh, next one, tire for all temperatures. I would say the Pirelli SC, Metzler TD, yes, works with all temperatures. Unless it's boiling hot, it can start sliding a bit. Pirelli SC3, not for a very hot day as well. It'll start sliding. So on a very hot day, I would not use a Pirelli SC3. And Pirelli themselves say on a very hot day, use their softer compounds on a mediumish or coldish colder ish day use their kind of more kind of hardish compound tires next one is uh, do i tune my suspension to be honest your suspension should be tuned for any tires i've seen really bad tears on tires with bad suspension so you must tune your suspension whether it's kind of uh, a slick or a non-slick tire um, use on various tarmacs yes fantastic you know you can use the SC3 compound of Pirelli or Metzler TD in various uh, uh, tarmacs. Yes, um, there has been uh, there have been reports at the new uh, tarmac of Hareth and the new tarmac at Portimao circuit uh, in Portugal. There has been blistering on both Metzler TD and the Pirelli SC3. I think it's just the tarmac. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Uh, next is a truly reversible tire. No, Metzler TD is. But the Pirelli SC3, no. Pirelli SC3, you can't really reverse the tyre to get most out of it. So uh, with the Metzler TD, you know, once your right side is gone, you can reverse the tyre, you know, use the left side on the right. But with the Pirelli SC3, you can't do that. So don't try that. It's not recommended by Pirelli. I've heard people doing it, but that's another story. Uh, more compounds. Yes, great point. With Pire uh, Metzler TD, you just get one compound. With Pirelli... You've got SC3, SC2, SC1, SC0, and I've done a video on all compounds. You can check the description for that. So, uh, but yeah, so Pirelli comes with various compounds. Metzler does come with various compounds like K0, K1, K2, K3. But when it comes to the Metzler TD and the SC3, these two compounds are like versatile compounds, uh, you know, which, which can be used at varied temperatures unless it's too, too hot. Um, next, uh, tire pressures. I would say 25, 26 hot psi on the uh, uh, Metzler TD, 24 psi hot on the uh, Pirelli SC3. But your low, uh, your tire supplier or the tire guy at the circuit will tell you uh, as well, depending on the uh, the skill level and the um, ambient temperature or the track temperature. Next one is um, a hassle-free tire. Yes, a truly hassle-free, just like Metzler TD. You put it on your bike and you kind of forget it. If you're a track day guy with, you know, half decent pace, you can just forget it for, you know, two, three track days. You can use it. It takes multiple heat cycles. It's truly a, a hassle-free tire. Next one, price. Metzler TD, much cheaper than the Pirelli SC3. Pirelli's prices are a bit higher anyways. Metzler is, is very sensibly priced. And I, I just love the price levels of Metzler. Really affordable. Uh, but then you've got to think of it. Uh, the SC3 Pirelli can take multiple heat cycles. So 
it is cost effective in a way if you do like uh, your uh, you know various uh, kind of uh, uh, width levels which I'll come to in a bit next one is uh, racing and track days both yeah both tires can be used for racing and track days I've seen loads of people use the SC3 compound for endurance racing Metzler TD as well for uh, racing as well and I've seen some people use them for sprint racing believe it or not uh, consistency and heat cycles yes both Metzler TD and the Pirelli SC3 gives you plenty of consistency lap after lap after lap lap 5 lap 10 lap 20 lap 30 lap 50 same level of consistency you get with both which is absolutely stunning um, lap times I would say um, you know a great example is, my, uh, is Michael Neves from MCN I watched one of his videos on his own personal channel uh, he was one second slower on the Metzler TD compared to the Pirelli SC0 SC1 S SC1 SC2 I would say the SC3 uh, lap times with the Metzler TD are similar ish but to be honest lap times are subjective it's rider it's temperatures you know it's all sorts of conditions um, next is choice of tire width yes that's a very good point uh, Metzler uh, is basically kind of one size for the super bike uh, in terms of like 190 and 200 but then you stick to 55 uh, with the SC3 you've got a number of kind of side grips 60 I've even got a 65 somewhere and there's a 55 as well so yeah a number of widths available so they are quite similar you know uh, in a lot of ways but obviously non-reversible is one of the biggest things uh, Metzler TD is reversible the Metzler uh, the Pirelli SC3 isn't so yeah you know I hope you found this video interesting and if you want to watch uh, more videos like this please like and subscribe to the channel more tire compound videos and in general racing and track day videos are on my channel uh, soon so take care look after yourself guys thanks for watching